Hello and welcome to the next part of the Tiger Create tutorial series. In this installment, we want to create sprite sheet animations or movie clip animations as it is called in Flash. First, we drag the father into the water. This is the sprite we want to animate. You can see on the left side that we already defined multiple faces for the animation, multiple frames in Photoshop. These should be played sequentially and with this an animation appears. First we have to go to the animation editor, the sprite sheet animations navigator to the upper right. Click on it and create with a plus sign a new sprite sheet animation. We call it Papa diving. Now we need to drag over the frames that should be part of the animation. We now mark all the frames needed. These are the frames and just drag them over. As you can see this is the timing for each frame. 20 means with 20 frames per second that this frame is shown one second. This one is shown one second again and so on. So if we watch it here, you see the animation goes very slowly. Now we set all these to the value of 1, 1 twentieth of a second and if you now play it, it's much faster. But as you can see the legs are moving down because all the frames only show the movement in one direction. Legs are up and go down and down till the legs are at their lowest points. For a continuous animation we now have to move the legs up again. So we have to show these frames here additionally. We just grab them, put them in here, set them to one frame length and now we have to reorder them because the animation goes this way. This is frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this must be followed by 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and we can just reorder the frames here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and now we need frame 6 we just drag it up frame 5, 4, followed by frame 3 and frame 2 and afterwards if you're playing it multiple times I set the repetitions to 3 it starts again at the top at 1 so you have a continuous animation look at it it was played 3 times I show it again that's a sprite sheet animation or movie clip animation so I set the repetitions back to 1 and this one as you can see consists of 12 frames. 12 pictures are shown. If you want to um, show one picture a longer time, like this one here, just set the frame time to a higher value. Now watch it. It goes down fast, stops and goes back again. So you can tune your animations to your liking. I change back to the properties of the elements. Now I mark, I select the father. This is the first frame I dragged over and I give this image a sprite sheet animation. You see sprite sheet has no value so far and now I select Papa diving. And as you can see here in the timeline suddenly the sprite sheet animation pops up. Sprite sheet animation consisting of 12 frames. You can test by scrubbing around. And if you preview the scene, you see the sprite sheet animation is working and is continuing endlessly. We set it now to repetitions 1 and look at it again. Papa dives once and then stops. 
Now, to make it nice, we connect it to a button. For this, we change to the scene navigator and add a button with a plus sign, plus button. We call it Papa button and drag it on top of the diving Papa. And now we just have to connect the button using the button properties with a plus sign to this animation we defined. It uses frame 1 to frame 12. Um, repetitions, let's use three times, so you see a bit more animation. And as a click sound for the button, we use the splash sound previewed here. And now I save it for good measure and I go to the preview mode. You see nothing's happening, but when you click the button, the sprite sheet animation is moving. It's played three times and the sound is playing. One thing to pay attention to, please do not move the sprite sheet animation. You can move it here using the position, rotation and so on, but uh, it has some undesired effects. For example, if the animation is uh, longer than the sprite sheet animation you defined, it won't work. So um, if you move it for 20 frames from um, here to here and uh, I drag it over here a bit and you look at it you see that it was repeating itself not in a good way so better do not do this or define more frames for the sprite sheet animation but this costs lots of memory so for now it would be best not to use position changes on sprite sheet animations this will change and will be improved in later versions of tiger create and the players thanks a lot for watching and goodbye